Good morning again. Uh, this is part three and I think the final part I'm going to do for this blog on a possible solution for the Pi board. I've given it some thought and uh, read through some posts and I'm thinking that the ambient temperature idea isn't a bad one. So we're here again in the morning and the first time uh, it's booted up is now. So this Yesterday I did lots of um, timings and all that, I've done nothing today, so we know that I've turned that on first time, that's not booting up. I unplug it, plug it in again, and that's not, that's not booting up at all. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to heat it up with a hairdryer. 1000 watt, and we're just going to put it on the medium heat. Uh, roughly about 30 to 40 centimetres away, um, so it's not to sort of like really cause any damage or anything. But yesterday we had to leave it plugged in for a, a few, well, good few minutes for the board to be what we, well, what I surmise as being warm enough for it to boot up. So we're just going to try. It's got a four gig card in. I'm just going to turn it on and just wave this over there, so for about 10 seconds or so, and we'll see how we go. Okay, I'm just going to touch the, uh, not exactly hot, but we'll try that. No, but we'll do it again, just to check. No, not yet. I'll give it a little bit more heat. Oh, I'm going to cheat now, for a second two. That's better. Whoa. Lovely. What I'm doing, I'm just touching these when these feel warm. Right that. And lordy lordy, it's away. <coughs> We're pretty familiar with this now. So I'm just going around here. AV. Yeah, that's all working. All in one take. <coughs> so, um, Hopefully that will help. 